What is up, Glam Tribe? Welcome back to my channel. If you're returning and hanging out with me again, it's so good to have you here. And if you're finding me with this video, I'm happy you found me. Hello, welcome. And if you love all things fashion and beauty, go ahead, hit subscribe, join the tribe. This is a channel definitely for you. Today we are talking about fashion and a part of fashion that I really didn't realize was very important until like my 20s, which are bras. Like it was just, I don't know, like I never really liked bra shopping. And if you can relate, let me know what you hate about bra shopping. If you love bra shopping, tell me what you love. Like let's start this conversation right now because I'm gonna tell you about the five types of bras that you do need to have in your wardrobe at all times and then give you some tips and tricks. But to make it easy, I will outline the video context along the timeline and chapter so you can follow along. It will make you easier if there's a part where you're like, okay, I think I got what I need and I can jump to the next part. Again, it's to make it easy for you so this is useful for you because you know I got you. So let's go ahead and get into it and jump into the five types of bras that you need. So the first type of bra that you need in your collection is a classic t-shirt bra. The one that I wear, actually I have two styles from Wacol that I really love. The first one here is the La Femme. I bought this one in black and you'll notice the theme, I always said buy it in like black and like a nude like color, just to suit with everything that I have. Um, this underwire lifts, like it gives really good support. It has a little bit of a higher rise in the center. It's not a plunge personally, for my shape, I cannot do a super low plunge at this moment. Um, I'm a little bit more fuller on the bottom, so I need a little more support. But that's the thing about bras. There's so many different styles to suit your exact shape and your exact need. Um, this does have a little bit of a nice thicker band that does give a good amount of support as well. And I actually really like this netting, very breathable, very easy. And the straps are really supportive too. So all around, this is a supportive bra. And then I have like its cousin bra, that's what I like to call it, which is the Lace Affair. It has a lot more lacing on the band right here. Um, it kind of has like a little bit more of like a satiny look too as well for the material, but still pretty similar um, cup construction, really supportive underwire. Again, a little bit more high rise in the center, not a low plunge. So this is great if you're a little bit fuller. Um, if you are not as full, you can go with something like the Notori Feathers. That's a really great one. I can still wear the Notori Feathers, but I just know like with the type of lift and support I would need and love, this walk hole does it for me. Now the next type of bra that you need, and trust me you do, is an unlined bra. Many people worry about an unlined bra. They're like, what if I get cold and everything? But really it's a great item to have within your bra collection because it's really great for flowier pieces. And it just gives you a little alternative of something more breathable. I have like the Fantasy Fusion one and I have it in nude and I also have it in black. I love this. I'm going to show you the detailing up close, but it just has a really nice construction. There's three pieces to this bra to give you really nice support. It's not super see-through. The underwire comes up. So again, you're just getting the most support that you possibly can in this bra, but it's very breathable, very comfortable. You need it. So the third bra that you need is a strapless bra. I know strapless bras can be quite frustrating to find, but I have a solution. It is the Wacol Runway Bra. This is a very classic, traditional strapless bra that comes in an assortment of sizes so it can fit many, many, many women. Um, I do love the band construction as well. It's pretty nice and thick, and it also has like little wiring throughout so it really holds in place. Like When you have this strapless bra on, it holds. You are secure you're good. You can probably even jump up and down and really dance and enjoy the item that you're wearing because this is not going anywhere. Um, and again, I love the fact that the variety of sizes that it comes in. So if you're a little bit fuller, you are covered. If you are smaller, you can still go with this. If you want more of a plunge and you're not as busty, you can go with the Notori Feather Strapless. That's another great option. Um, but truly, this is like my go-to. I pull this for a lot of customers. It works. 
My other strapless bra choice is the On Gossamer. Um, this one I have in this like shell, like nude color, and then also in black, which I'm wearing today. But this one has a little bit more of a like padding. So if you want a little bit more lift in a strapless bra, maybe you just want to have a little bit more cleavage. This one works for me. And it's pretty um, encompassing of sizing. If you're really bussy, it, this may not be the best option for you. But if you're like me, fuller at the bottom, but sometimes you want to feel like you're really nice and pushed up, this one works. So the fourth type of bras that you need are bralettes. These can be tricky, so I have two solutions. One is like the classic kind of free people style bra. It has like all these nice lace detailing and it kind of pokes up when you wear it and you kind of get like scalloping and it's really a beautiful, beautiful bralette. However, the one criticism is if you're a little bit fuller, it can be very tricky and just not the best fit for you. So if that's the case or you just want a seamless bralette, my favorite go-to right now is the True Body um, Bralette by True & Co. It is seamless, soft, breathable, all of the above, worth every bit of hype. I could go on about this bralette for days, but I won't. Um, so I have two styles and I bought them both like in the gray because I felt like gray goes um, underneath everything and truly I would buy every color, but I should budget myself. So this has removable cups, so if you want more molding, you can. This one is the V-neck. It goes with a V in the front and the back. If you're a little bit fuller, they have other styles that will go up to like bigger sizes in bras and be able to give you support and coverage and everything you need. So they have a really great size guide on their website to help you through that. But this one works pretty well for me. And it is pretty long, so again, it just really fits my needs perfectly. This is a great alternative, like I'll wear this Again, under like flowier items, if I'm not needing a lot of support that day or I just am like, I need to go outside but I really don't feel like wearing a bra, I throw this on. And I also got the um, convertible one as well. So this has thinner straps. I just picked this one up recently. And you can like convert it into like a cross back to kind of help with like kind of that racer back style they do have racer backs but um i thought the convertible one was just a great little quick add in to have a thinner strap but the same v-neck like i like with this bralette and again this is removable cups and i'll just like pop it out to show you it's really easy um to pop them out and wear it with so the fifth and final type of bra that you need is a sports bra this one is from fabletics i actually really like their selection of sports bras they have everything from low impact to high impact i tend to go with high impact so i just know i have the maximum amount of support for a wide variety of activities but this is the l front zip sports bra so you have a front zip which i really appreciate very easy to get into because pulling on a sports bra <laughs> Ooh, it's so torturous um, but it also has like a cute like crisscross back detailing so and a really good band as well it stays really nice and in place so this one is one of my highly recommended sports bras especially if you need support ease of getting into your sports bra and just a good variety to go with all athletic wear now that we're done covering the types of bras that you need let's move into these tips and tricks did you know that over 60% of women are wearing their own size bra and a good amount of women know it. So if that's you, if you're like, I know I'm in the wrong size bra or you're kind of like questioning it, you are not alone. A couple of key indicators is wear and tear. Like is your bra falling apart at the seams? You probably need a new bra and you might as well go ahead and get a new fit. Also, if the straps are just always sliding no matter how you adjust them or the same thing if the band is really loose, like if you pull against it, it, it should give a little bit but not too much. That will be an indicator that you need a new bra and probably a new fit. And also as well, when you are adjusting your bra, you always start on the last hook. So the most loose setting and work the way in as the lifetime of the bra progresses along. Another key indicator of needing a new bra or even a new fit is the cups. Are the cups too loose 
or are you spilling over the cups, that is time to go ahead and get in, get a new bra, get a fit. You will need to update your fit or just check your fit about every six months. Things can fluctuate. Truly, your breasts are never done growing. They will fluctuate. Mine fluctuate with weight gain. If I put on weight, they go there. If I lose weight, they leave. Also hormones. Like there's so many different reasons why um, your cup size, your bra size will fluctuate. But just go every six months, get a quick checkup. Once you're in a routine of being in the right fit, you really kind of hound in on your like needs to adjust your fit or just really easy to notice if it's off. Now, while we're in this space talking about indicators of needing a fit session or a new bra, I know fit is a very large topic and how to take your measurements. So I actually found an article to link down below in the description box because again, that could be a whole video on its own. And if I find a great video, I'll also link it in the cards just for you to check out and reference. Now you do not need to wear your bra 24 seven. Like guys, when you're in the right fit, you really do feel your bra on, not in a discomfort way, but if you wear it for prolonged periods, it can become very uncomfortable. That's why I gave you these options with the true body bras to have something to swap into. If you need a little bit of hold or you feel like you need to sleep in a bra, again, this is a great option, but don't sleep in your bras. Don't wear them 24 seven. Also take care of your bras. You take care of them, they will take care of you. Please wash them very well. I say get a lingerie bag. You can find a lingerie bag anywhere, even the dollar store. Drop them into there while you wash them and then do a hang dry for them. I personally am OCD and I have a drying rack that I lay them on, but truly do not mistreat your bras. They are an investment, so take care of them. That's all I have for you all. If you need further bra tips and tricks or you have further questions, just drop them into the comments down below. That's where that conversation with our glam tribe continues on. And if you have not yet, please hit subscribe, join the tribe. I will catch you in the next video that I'm throwing up on the screen. So I will see you there.